Hello Grade 5s, um, I'm quickly going to explain um, 14 May, um, the work for 14 May, Grade 5s, NS and T, Processing Materials. Okay, so we start with a starter. Um, I want you to look at the picture and if you can look carefully you will see it is the whole process of baking a cake. Okay, so the starter is use the picture below to try and explain what you need and what steps to follow to bake a cake. So before you do anything else, I want you to look at the picture and try to explain how do we bake a cake. So you have to tell me we need this, this and this, we do this, then we do this and then we do this and then we have a cake. So you have to explain the whole process of baking a cake. Okay. So, let's quickly look at three words here. Materials. The things you need to make a product. Process. The things you do to make a product. And product. Something people make to use or sell. Okay. So, those three words are very important in this topic. Okay. So, let's quickly look at the pictures again. Look at the picture again and answer the following questions verbally. Verbally means you don't have to write it down, you just say the answers. Okay, the first question, what are the materials? So what do you think is the materials that we need to bake a cake? Another word for materials is ingredients. When you use it for cooking, it is ingredients. So what ingredients do you need to bake a cake? Um... What is the process? Okay, so what do you have to do to get the cake in the end? And then you have to ask yourself, what is the product? What is the thing that we want to use or sell in the end? Okay, so quickly try and answer those questions. And if you look a little bit lower, you will see the answers. Okay, so let's quickly look at... Make a keyword summary on page 86 and 87. Okay, yeah, I only showed you an example. Um, there are many keywords, as you can see, yeah. And then try to use some colors. Make it, do a creative summary of your keywords so that you can study it for a test. Okay, so on page 86, you can see we've got many keywords and then on page 87 we've got three more okay so now your job is to make a little summary with your keywords okay then i created an activity for you which will also be a summary okay so this is a two-in-one it's an activity that will change into a summary for yourself to study so it's topic eight unit one processing materials combining materials okay so it's a couple of flow diagrams in the first blocks you will have to add materials in the second block of the flow diagram you have to add the process and then in the third block you have to add the product. Now, if you look at this without, uh, had a, if, without having a look at your textbook, you won't know what this is all about. You have to go and read a little bit. So you have to go to page from a, page 5, 85 to page 93. So 85, whole story of baking a cake, then combining materials, then you will see different processes, mixing and setting. There you will see cement, concrete, plaster of Paris. So you will get some of your answers over here. Then, next page, mixing a solid and a liquid into a paste. And if you look carefully, there you will see the word glue. So one of your answers will be over here. Over here, mixing and cooking. And if you see, they are making porridge. So you will have porridge and your ingredients are over there. And there is also then another answer. Next page. Mixing and cooling. And you can see it's a, about making jelly. So here you will get your ingredients, the process, mixing and cooling. And your end product is jelly. Okay. Another one. 
mixing, drying and firing. It's one of the processes that's got three steps. Okay, you will get in the end a brick and here you will get your ingredients. Okay, then summarizing, combining and processing raw materials and over here you will see different answers. Okay, here they've got longer flow diagrams, so it's not exactly the same as our flow diagram, so you can't just copy it from here, but these will also help you to finalize your summary. Okay, then if we go back, complete the activities in your book, and lucky for you, we only have one activity because you had to make two big summaries. Okay, so we are going to do the topic revision on page 94. So let's go to page 94. Okay, science language activity, match column A and B. We all know how to do this activity. Most of these words is in your keywords. So you, if you done your keyword summary, you will find the answers very quickly. Then, number one, look at the photographs on the left and answer the questions. Here we have mud bricks. And they are only sun-dried. And here we have fired bricks. So they were in a kiln. Okay, and if you look at the two bricks, uh, this one, it doesn't look that good. It looks like it's, it's not that strong and it's falling apart. And this brick is in a much better condition. And there's a reason for that. So let's quickly look. Question A, what is the difference between the bricks in photograph A and the brick in photograph B? Quickly explain. Then why do you think there is such a difference? Why do you think there's a difference? Okay, then yeah, look at the flow diagram below. Okay, so there's some ingredients, there's a process, and there's your product. Now they're going to ask, what raw materials are mixed? So you just look at the flow diagram and easy peasy, there you find your answer. Which process took place? You can see it there. Which product is created? It's also there. Write about the uses of the product. If you don't know what uses we have for concrete, you just page back and you go and find mixing and setting and concrete. And there it will give you some answers. Okay. So it's not a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of writing. But you can do it. Enjoy it. And then I'll talk to you next time.